Rebecca Lassica. I'm Senior Solutions Engineer here at Excellus Viz. And what I'm going to talk about today for my whiteboard blog is a little bit about going beyond NDVI. So a lot of times we hear people talking about doing NDVI to look at vegetation health. And as agricultural applications are becoming more popular, uh, precision agriculture specifically, I want to talk about some of the vegetation indices that might be useful and also talk about some uh, great new indices that we have coming up uh, very soon. So what I have up here is I'm showing some sunlight and it's radiating light down to, this is actually a plant cell, where the blue and red wavelengths are going to be strongly absorbed and the green is going to bounce off a little chloroplast and reflect a little bit so the plant looks green. The near infrared light can't be used in the photosynthetic process and it can actually harm the plant. So the plant's going to strongly reflect all the near infrared light that comes out. And then what we get when we look at an image is a spectral plot for vegetation where you could imagine that the blue and the red values are going to be low, the green's going to be a little higher, and the near infrared is going to be really high. So you see this spectral plot that looks something like this for vegetation. And NDVI is commonly used to take the near infrared values out here, minus the red values way down here, and look at those relationships, normalize it, where we get really high values are going to indicate healthy vegetation. Well, that's tried and true. It's, it's been tested and it works really great. But there's some other ways that you can utilize the data that you might already have uh, to look at different types of uh, relationships between what's happening here uh, from the light when it hits the plant. So in my blog this week, I'm going to show some of these different things, including the DVI, the Difference Vegetation Index, which really just takes the near infrared minus the red. And this index is really useful when you want to separate the soil from the vegetation. So if you're working in precision agriculture and you want to see what percentage of your plot is actually planted, this might be a good index to use. Uh, the MSI index is going to use information that you need to have way out here in the wavelengths from your sensor. So if your sensor is going beyond the near infrared wavelengths, about 830 to 850 nanometers, but way out here to 1500, this is a moisture stress indicator index. And when the canopy, your plant, is holding a lot of moisture, the absorption values greatly increase around 1599 nanometers. When using uh, 819 nanometer spectral reference, you can start to see some changes when you get a lot of canopy water content increase, and this index is really good to use for that. The REN DVI, or uh, the Red Edge NDVI is what that stands for, it utilizes the information here. So if your sensor actually has information along the Red Edge, it's great for applications like precision agriculture because you can really start to see very small scale changes in the vegetation that are indicated in between the near infrared and red, red spectral signatures uh, of your plant. So this index uses wavelengths about 750, which might be up here, and 705, which might be down here. And these changes can be picked up really well by this index to see small scale changes uh, at very high resolution applications like precision agriculture. So read my blog tomorrow. I'll hopefully have some images to go along with all this information and talk about some other spectral indices that we have in EV. Thanks.